Here's part two of my attack system video. Again, we have more things to take care of regarding the target side rather than the attacker side. You'll now see the red lines on each of the characters. The top represents head, the middle is the body, the lower part is the legs. Anything that changes the character box will also change the lines, like portions. The point here is having different hit reaction animations for each of the general body parts. If you get hit on the head, for example, you get one type of reaction. If you get hit on the body, you get another type of reaction. You'll also get different results depending on whether you're getting hit by a weak attack or a strong attack. Right now, I only have two hit reaction animations, so you'll only see two. But the system is in place. I just have to put in different animations. Another update regarding the attacks that I want to talk about is the VFX. Right now, everything is still a very early prototype, so I just put in basic text, as you can see. I just wanted to test this, but now I kind of I, I kind of like having words there. The effects don't just appear and disappear. That, that's another update. There's very subtle details regarding transparency, rotation, and scale. It might be slightly difficult to see it in this recording, but I'm happy with the update. I'm not doing... I'm, I'm not just doing simple linear interpolations. I'm doing, I'm doing sine operations. Here's an interesting web page on how you can use different equations to change certain values. In my game, pretty much everything, including camera zoom, camera movement, VFX, jumping, etc. They all use some sort of a unique graph rather than doing uh, a basic linear interpolation. If you want to check out the website, I have all the links below. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me with the links. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.